Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Oh, let me just enable the video like that. So, tonight we're going to talk about Kotlin Kator and how to use multiple modules in your application. It is quite easy actually, so that means that uh, when we need to uh, to extend our application, we can actually do it by creating a new module and then keep logic and keep routes separated. Um, it's a good way of organizing uh, an, your application. Let me just show here. I have my Kotlin application that I've been using uh, for some uh, for some demonstrations now, and uh, here we have the default application.module, which uh, yeah, it installs some features, locations, and the content negotiation up in the top. Then it defines some routes right here, uh, backslash, uh, forward slash, and then a spaceship, and what else we've been playing with. Yeah, some of the, the some of the locations, uh, specific things we have been playing been playing with. Now I would like to create an alien, and I would like to create an, an endpoint, a routing for my alien, but I would like to do it in a fresh module. I, uh, I wouldn't like to uh, to pollute this uh, main module further. So let me create a new module. It's it's quite easy. The easiest way is actually to copy and paste the application.kt into a new file. So my alien module like this, my alien module, add it to git, thank you very much IntelliJ, and clean up the code a little bit so we don't have a duplicate code of course. The main, it's okay, then I can both start the main from here or from the other file, the application.kt. Here, now we need to change some things right here. I need to change this to module, and I will name this alien right here. So this is my new module, and as you can see here, this is an extension function that means that we take the application class, which is uh, the Kator uh, application class, and we extend it with a new module like that. And uh, we need to be careful when we install our features, because if we ha already have installed them in another module, then we will get a, a something like duplicate uh, feature in, in, in installation error or something like that. But, but I'll show you this just in a while. I will not fix it right now. Uh, let us let it just run. Then I'll delete all these routes down here. I'm not going to use uh, locations. So let me just delete the locations, delete, delete, delete. And then we also delete the, the locations feature because we're not going to use that. But we would like to use content negotiation, so we could be tempted to have a, an install content negotiation right here. That would be smart of us, right? Because we need that uh, we would like to return an alien, but right, we don't have a class named alien yet. So let us just create the class, and we can create that in the same file. Of course, I could also have created a new file with with the, the alien class right here, and I'm going to create a data class. So I'm and I'm going going to create this immutable. These are immutable fields now. Val and then we have a name and that is a type string. Then we have val height and that can be a double. And then we have a val weight and it, no, it's not font weight. Thank you very much, Intelia. Usually we're very useful, but that was not the right thing that I wanted to do. So right now we have a double right there, double, double, and string. That's fine. And I would, instead of uh, instead of having this uh, uh, forward slash, I would like to write forward slash alien instead. So this is a new endpoint. It's a new routing that we are creating, and we're using. We want to return an object as JSON. That means that I don't need to set the content type because that would be per default be application JSON. Um, let me create a new alien right here, new alien. And this one will be named Mike. The height um, 192 or something like that. And the weight, a little bit more sensitive. Oh, thank you, up at 114. Yeah, yeah, I need to lose weight. I know it, I know it. Then we have this right here. And and that's actually it. So uh, now I need to go to application.conf and then I need to add my module right here. And if I, if I can't remember the name, then I can copy this part right here. Copy. Then I go to application.conf. And right here you can see we have a module section with an array of modules. Let me just add another module. I can, uh, I can add it on the new line. So it's still the com example package, and now here comes a little bit. Uh, I think I think that is a little bit weird, and that is because the uh, Kotlin is actually creating a new class. When you create a file like that, then Kotlin will create a new class like this. My alien module kt is the name of the class, and then uh, in here there will be a module alien, 
uh, static uh, method like that. So that means that this is the this is uh, the fully qualified identifier. Uh, so yeah, so we need to identify it with this string right here. Um, that's actually it. So let's go back to application. Let us press run right there. Run the application. We could have also run the application from the other file. It's exactly the same thing that will actually happen. Oh, now I got an error right here. Duplicate application feature exception. Conflicting application is already installed with the same key content negotiation. That is because we are not allowed, and I know, I know I'm shading a little bit. Uh, let me just move myself a little bit. I know, um, so that is because uh, we're only allowed to install each feature once. And let me show you what I mean here. Um, in the my alien module right here, I have uh, I'm installing. I'm trying to install this feature right here. I cannot do that because I have already installed the feature. And yes, that can sometimes give some problems uh, and some challenges because we might have set a lot of uh, we, we we are configuring our, our feature right here. Um, but uh, let's take that another time. Uh, now, uh, right now, I just deleted the in install feature from my application module alien right here. Let us try to run the program again and see what happens now. So now the application started up and look how fast it started. It's, it's always, it's such a joyride to watch. Uh, I know it also takes some time to start up the JVM, but it's it's really, really fast. It's incredibly fast. So. It's good for impatient people, and most developers are impatient, I guess. So let us try to open this in a browser. Oh, I got open, I opened up two. So this is from the old, this is from the application module. Hello world, that was the endpoint we had there. That was the route we had there. Let me try to write alien like this. And here we have the alien from the new module. So I've just created a new module, and I showed you that it actually worked with the, yeah, with the new route. And that's actually it. I'm so proud of myself. It's really, really cool. It's very easy to to set up uh, multiple modules in Kato. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great evening. Hope to see you soon again. Hi.